Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about the docker compose.yml file uh, which we have in the Hyperledger fabric. So this video is part of the series which we are writing just to make you aware about different files involved in the Hyperledger fabric and how you can use that file to set up your network. So in this series we are talking about mainly three things here, first of all the crypto config file that will help you to generate the cryptographic material, um, uh, the certificates, MSP, uh, the keys, public and private keys, etc. In the second uh, topic is the config tx.yaml where we have shown how you can generate the genesis block and how you can create a channel artifacts using this file and how this file look like. Now the third and final uh, session here is about docker compose and that will help you to contain a uh, docker container for each and everything like for order for peer nodes and other thing okay so that is how uh, this series is all about where we have uh, these three file explained in the detail mm, so in this video we are focusing mainly on the third portion which is docker compose.yml file so uh, before we jump to this docker compose dot uh, docker compose dot yaml file in the detail let me explain you that okay you will here we have mentioned docker compose dot yaml but in reality what they used to do they uh, we used to have a different kind of file different composer dot uh, docker compose dot yaml file for peer nodes for order for couch db and so on. So instead of having one common file where we have all the configuration, uh, so they used to split two separate files. Let me show you quickly. If you just talk, talk, take about the example for the first, in that one you have a first network, which you are taking a reference for this series. In this one you will see Docker compose three files: one for CLI, one for CouchDB, and that is a template. So this template again, these three files is referring the base folder. So you can see under base you will have these two files which is peer base and docker compose base so ultimately uh, these files will be going to refer to this base also so some network will have like separate docker compose for peer nodes separate for order and uh, separate for other things which we have separate for couch db the same thing which you see it here and so on or maybe you can have a separate docker compose for each organization so suppose you have three, three organization organization one two and three you can have separate docker compose for organization one separate for organization two separate for three so this is how what standard what standard you will follow you can just go ahead and create this file based upon that but we will talk about in general in this session that okay how this files look like and what kind of structure we have in these files Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss about this file here. So mainly uh, this docker compose file will have these five sections. First of all is the header. Then uh, certificate authority container. We, we have the configuration of CA in the file which will create the container for certificate authority. Then it can create the container for peer nodes that can be uh, the organizations and one organization can have multiple peer nodes then order container, then the CouchDB container. So this is a basic uh, which you need to know in the starting as, as a beginner. So the very first section is the header. As you can see, header have, will have a version. So the very first thing which you see in the file is the header. It will contain a version, uh, currently it is version two, and your network name. So in the first network sample, the network name is BYFN, build your first network but you can choose any name from your side as per your requirement so this, that will be your network name basically so once this is the first section which we have in a file and second file comes uh, second section is a certificate authority container so you will see a configuration in the file which will help you to create the container for certificate authority so this is one of the example which you can see uh, on this one uh, CA0 so this is a host name for the certificate authority and you can see there are environmental uh, variable we have set down below if you can just see here fabric ca home fabric ca server ca home and other thing then we have the port defined what command it should run then volume okay where the uh, 
this is the location which we have it here in the con container name as you can see it here so this is the container name for this one so and the network name for this one so this is how at high level the container detail will be mentioned so once you run this command uh, this uh, file this will create a container for you with this name ca underscore peer org one so this is example for one certificate authority so similarly you will have different certificate authority for uh, uh, each organizations okay so this is how this look like uh, in a uh, docker compose or yaml file then second thing third thing which we have is the peer containers again peer container will have as i just mentioned that uh, that is up to you you want to have only one yaml file for all the peer nodes or you want to have a separate that is based upon your requirement and based upon your standards but this is one example which you see down below where we have defined a peer node which has a host name peer0.org1.example.com then the container name also is mentioned now as you can see this is referring to a base file as I just mentioned before right so we do have a base folder in that one we have a docker compose base file which is mentioned down below so this is the content from docker compose base.yml and then if you just see this one this one this one also is referring to the peer base.yml so there is a reference of from file to another file and this again contain the container name here this extend the base uh, peer base file then environment variables are set down below then there are volume parameters then there are port parameters and in the peer base the third syntax is for peer base which contain the peer base uh, structure how it will structure like if you just see here this will be peer base then the image uh, is mentioned environment variables are set here then the working directory is mentioned basically so every peer uh, as per this example the first network uh, it will referring to a docker compose base as a file then docker compose base file will refer to your peer base file and this is how it works basically so this is your third section where we talk about the peer uh, container detail and fourth one is order so same way as we have peer so same way we have order as well so you can see order again extend the docker compose file but here your docker compose will not extend the peer base because this is not a uh, peer this is the order node which we need to have so this is how it will look like so this is the details which we have command is order here environment variables are set here the container name is defined in the top so this is how it will look like so if you are a developer you just need to know at high level you need not to go in the depth about these commands you just need to be know okay what how it look like and what kind of uh, structure it will have in this file so the last one is the couch db uh, so this is a section contain about the couch db you can see here so you can have a couch db for each uh, organization so based upon that this is just one example you you, you can have a copy of this one for each organization couch db0 couch db1 couch db2 and so on so the container name is couch db02 and this is the environment variable set down below then there are port defined and the name of network defined so this is simple so this way this is how your file will look like at high level and that will help you uh, in the real time to create all the container instead of defining it manually you can use this file this yaml file and that will help you to generate the all the container so last thing this is the command which you can use docker compose minus f the file the path of your yaml file and up that will create the container and that will build your network basically so this is the one command which you can run here and you can start using this network so with this series uh, which we have explained uh, which contain crypto config uh, config tx .yml and docker compose .yml so this is a major file which we have in a hyperledger fabric network so this is i am hopeful that this help you to uh, get understanding the basic about hyperledger fabric if you are developer you should have now the basic idea okay how it will uh, look like and how it works basically
so thanks for watching and i'm hopeful that uh, you have like this series of videos which we have put together uh, just to make you aware about the hyperledger fabric thanks for watching